are so important. And you realize that he just hurt mama, or mama has hurt daddy, and so now you're seeking out you know, ways to heal yourself. And when you're 13, 11, and 12, you don't even really know what that means. Vinny Production. What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am the one and only Mrs. Rose Wilson and you have entered Mom Chronicles 2.0 produced by Denny Production. This here is Mom's Sweet Tea. Just because it's tea, it's just not mean it's gossip. Hey, y'all, I'm back with another video. I'm just gonna get right into it, y'all. Everybody's talking about cancel Netflix regarding this cuties movie. Um, and I've read so many posts and I'm be honest with y'all, at first I was going to be like, I'm just canceling. Uh-uh. And I read so many posts, like I said, so I'm just canceling. I can't believe they're doing this. But as my creative director, aka, um, husband, um, BKA, my baby father, um, aka, my husband was like, we definitely not gonna cancel some Netflix until you, we actually watch the video or watch the the movie. Um, and so I'm like, he's right. So that's what I did. So what I'm gonna do now is just go, I'm gonna recap on the movie bits and pieces. I'm not gonna show you clips because it would be copyright claim because it's not my original content. Um, and I really don't like doing it. So let's just get right into it. So I actually have, um, I have about six or seven sticky notes because I wrote down stuff during the vid movie. And I'm just going to be honest and say, the movie isn't bad at all. Like, everybody is like, oh, I'm casting Netflix. Why would they make a video like this? But I have a 14-year-old son. And then I have a six-year-old daughter. And I am a mother of a family that does social media on a regular basis. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Reddit, Snapchat. So I took a lot from this video from a parent perspective and then seeing things from my children's perspective. All right. So let's get into the recap of the movie. So there was a um, black family um, that, um, it was a daughter and two sons and the daughter was probably like 11 or 12 ish. And her name is Omni. They are African descent possibly because they had a thick African accent. Well, the mother did not Omni who was the, who would the move was based around. Um, they was, um, they were part of the Muslim culture and religion. And uh, Omni was not at the point where she was wrapping her head. Because if you do not know about the Muslim culture, most of them, they wrap their head on a regular basis. And so I think when a girl gets a certain age, then she begins to wrap her head. So she was not doing that, except when they went to um, the master, whatever day that was. Um, Omni was an unpopular girl. She wanted to be popular and she gravitated towards that popularity and, you know, dance pretty much. Right. Um, there was a group of girls who were a bit more popular. They dressed um, sexier to be young girls. They pretty much tried to act like they grown and can do what they want to do um, at a younger age. And they were middle school girls. So they could have been on more than fifth or sixth grade. Right? Because I said there's about 11 or 12. Um, uh, the group of four girls, they were a multi-race group of girls. So it was one black girl. Other girl may have been Hispanic. Um, the other girl was white. It was one white girl. And then I don't know what the other race of the thicker, younger girl was. Um, but like I said, there was a group of multi-race young women. Um, and they were like the Mean Girls. If you've never watched the Mean Girls movie, um, you definitely need to watch it because that's what they were like. They were like the Mean Girls. They would do stuff to each other, not even to each other, but to other people, like nobody was better than them, things like that. 
body shaming was a big deal between the group and with other them body shaming other people. Pranks. The group of girls did pranks on each other and did all type of stuff um, to each other where, you know, it was kind of like bonding, but really hazy, but they, they turned it into bonding, right? Um, they were acting way too grown. They were dressed way too grown. They were speaking and talking to each other way too grown to be 11 and 12 years old. Um, I will say that not only did Omni parents did notice that she wasn't, you know, she was gone for long hours, that um, neither did the other girls' parents. Like, they was gone. Like, after they get out of school, they're together our plenty, many hours after the school day. The, again, these girls are only 11 or 12 years old. Now, they all had a, some some sort of social media platform um similar i guess you call it similar to instagram um and so the social media influence um for omni was to learn how to dance that's what she really she saw the group of girls dancing who really didn't want to be bothered with her at first but then she started researching on her own because she stole herself from from the guy that was helping to get a room together in the house that she was living in with her Muslim family. Um, and um, she stole his cell phone and she started a Instagram page from his cell phone. Now, um, the other girls, parents, as I told you, did not notice what they did either. And I did not notice like they were gone for hours of the day. Like I said, they were young girls. Um, and Omni didn't like her culture. She... Uh, especially, or should I say, she didn't really care for the culture once she found that her father was marrying another wife um, in the Muslim culture that is common and um, and very much acceptable in their culture, in the Muslim culture. And Omni didn't like it because her she could tell her mother was not happy about it. And as we all know, um, your children can feel the vibes and things like that. So, I only knew that her mother was not happy about it and was just putting on a face just, you know, because this is what she had to do. Because, you know, that was her father and her mother's husband. Um, as I said, they dressed way too inappropriate. Halter tops, mid drifts, you know, booty shorts, things like that at 11 or 12 years old. Um... I'm going to say this, there was um, a time where the father had sent gifts for the mom, for the kids. Um, the, I told you I only had two brothers. One brother was probably like seven or eight, and then there was like a baby. It was like a baby. And um, there was this dress that was sent. And Omni, she loved it, but it was a dress she was supposed to wear to her father's wedding to this new bride. And she hated the dress. She put the dress in the closet because of that. But the dress was weird. The dress at one point started to bleed. Um, and that's when Omni got her period for the first time. Um, or the dress had this like breathing remote, like somebody was in it, breathing in it. It was so weird in her closet. Um, Omni began to have a bad attitude. She definitely began to have a very bad attitude because now, you know, she just stole the phone. From the guy that was helping fixing up the, the other room in their house. Um, and so she's created this, you know, this, you know, social media platform. And so she has the better phone from, you know, the group of girls. So now she can record them dancing and because they want to enter this show case. Omni recorded them and they end up learning the dance herself as well as searching on YouTube and stuff for dancing and the type of dance she was looking looking at was very sexy and inappropriate for her age so that's what you know those kind of thoughts and images are now in her brain and now she wanna she wanna have that clout she wanna be popular she wanna do all these things because the girls that she's hanging with now uh, they kept calling her homeless girl instead of calling by her name um and then the thicker girl um they got into it she was no longer part of the group so Omni kind of replaced her right um, and, uh, Omni started to pretty much 
get the juice because she was hanging with the popular girls now. And they stopped calling her homeless girl and started calling her Omni. Um, her mom attempted to, Omni's mom attempted to spank her because uh, Omni, you know, was dressed, you know, was at school. They called her to the front of the class and the dude smacked her on her butt. Um, and this was the reason why the dude smacked her on her butt is because um, the guy that Omni stole the phone from realized Omni stole it. And tried to get it back and she pulled out her pants and she took a picture of her um, private area and posted on social media. Right. And so the next day, I mean, got caught in front of the class and when she walked past, the boy smacked her on her butt. She picked up some pencils and stabbed him in his hand. I'm going to begin to have a really, really bad attitude. Really, really bad attitude. Also... Um, Omni Mama realized that she was stealing money from her. So that was the part where Omni stole money from her and um, was taking her friend shopping to get, you know, more inappropriate clothes and, you know, and, you know, better shoes so she could look better to be a part of her squad, even fitting with her squad. Um, once this happened, her mother tried to spank her. Um, her mother and her aunt gave her, like, it was like this water the ceremony with water it was splashing water on her she was in like a tank top and her panties and she was just like shake it and that was weird i don't know if that was a part of the muslim culture um but that was definitely weird and she was actually kind of dancing in it like kind of twerking a little bit but it was weird um i will say there was quite a few parts i had to just fast forward to because it was just cringy to watch as a mom of two daughters right um, Omni and her friends got into a fight because of the pic that she posted of her uh, private areas on social media. They didn't want to dance with her anymore. They um, was like, you making us look bad. Like, we, if you going to be doing it, that's fine. But you can't dance with us no more. And Omni was all about dancing. She only wanted the limelight. And she kind of went tunnel vision. was trying to force her friends. And it, it, you, it you know... A situation with ultimately, ultimately, Amelie was acting out because her father wasn't there that she want, and her mother was depending on her to do a lot. The mother was depending on her to, you know, go to the grocery store, help with, um, you know, the baby and her younger brother, you know, um, feed them, clothe them, all this other stuff, right? Plus. Um, you know, the father wasn't there. The father was also about to marry another wife, meaning another family coming into the home, which she didn't know nothing about. She knew her mother was struggling with the situation. And then now she wants to be popular with these other girls that's not doing the right things. So I'm the, you, she begins to, um, act out period. That's what it was because, um, and then she also didn't like the culture that much. And she was kind of pulling between society and her culture. So society and being a woman, uh, a young lady of a Muslim family, you know, of a Muslim family being Muslim and society, um, you know, she's being pulled back and forth between two and, but she really wants to dance. Um, the day that her father's getting married, and also the day of the competition, she's standing on the side of the building waiting for her. So once Omni and the girls, you know, the girls didn't want to be friends with Omni anymore because of the picture she posted, they got back friends with the thicker young girl, right? So then she became a part, back a part of the dance group and everything. So as that girl is walking to the competition, the finals, Omni pushes the girl into like a large lake or water and she almost drowns but the girl ended up getting saved and Omni runs to the competition and at the at the time she runs to the competition that's when they was about to be on stage and they the group is called the cuties that's the name of their dance group so that's where the name came from um and um as they're dancing, the dance is very inappropriate. It's very, very sexy, very provocative. Um, and the people in the audience are even like, oh my God, why they dancing like this? People are trying to cover their kids' faces. Like the list goes on, right? Um, 
in the middle, like right towards the end of the performance, Omni is like she is like I said, she's being pulled between her culture and society. Society is the people that are around her, the friends that she had, and then her Muslim culture, Muslim, you know, and she just stands and she starts crying and she runs off stage, she runs home and she says, you know, mama, 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 mama. Um, because again, her mother and her family is not really even noticing that she's gone, she's this, she's that. Her mother finally embraced her and she walked in the house with the, you know, inappropriate attire on from the dance competition and the aunt um, was like, you're dressed like a whore and this is not how you dress, you together. And the mama told her, please take your hands off my daughter. This is not your child. Leave my daughter alone. So the mother took up for her. She understood. And that was a time where the, um, the mother and Omni really bonded. Um, and it was the day of the wedding. And the mother, uh, Omni was asking the mama, please don't go to the wedding. Please don't go to the wedding. She was like, my duties as a wife, I have to go to the wedding. But you do not have to go. And Omni did not go. And that was a, pretty much the end of the movie. Um, there was a part in there where they snuck into like a laser place, a laser uh, laser tag place. And they started, they was about to go to jail. Like they was going to call the police. And the two, it was a guy that that, that ca caught them. And then an, uh, uh, like the supervisor was like, okay, we just call the police. And they just started dancing and twerking. And they got out of the situation. And I was just like... Because the first time I'm like, this is cringy. I see why people were, you know, canceling they, they Netflix. But in reality, if you don't have young children, if not children, but if you don't have teenagers, if your children are not on social media um, and you're, uh, you know, you've erased your carbon footprint, this is definitely a movie you need to watch. I'm not canceling my Netflix account. I'm not because this is death. This put me in perspective of how social media, if you not paying attention to your kids, if you, you know, if you, if you, um, that's the first thing. If you're not paying attention to your kids, that means you don't know what's triggering them right to, um, uh, emotionally and physically. If you don't know what's going on in school, if they out with their friends hours and hours a day, right? If they, if your kids are always with they babysitting your siblings, I mean their siblings, your kids, because you're gone, yada yada yada, you never know what those kids are doing. Also, if they do have social media, if you are not managing their social media, that's the issue. This this video showed that if you're not doing your job as a parent, everything you can do as a single parent, as you know, a parent where you got two parents in a household, or a co-parent to whatever, this is what can happen. And this is starting at age 10, 11, and 12. This is, it was definitely a movie you need to watch. Yes, um, they were like, 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 like zooming in on the way they was dancing and things like that. I definitely think that part, those parts could have been taken out. But at the same token, you got to see from their perspective that social media and being popular was pulling this girl from everything she knew. So for 10, 11 years, all you know is being a young woman, being a young Muslim woman. You know, your daddy doesn't come home. That's why daddies are so important. And you realize that he has hurt mama. Or mom has hurt daddy. And so now you're seeking out, you know, ways to heal yourself. And when at 10, 11, and 12, you don't even really know what that means. Y'all, like I said, I'm not casting my Netflix account. Um, I absolutely would refer you to watch this movie if you have young, if you have teenage children. If you have you know, children six, seven, eight years old that will eventually be teenagers. I definitely um, request this request that you watch this movie. Like I, I need y'all to understand. Y'all gotta know the whole story before you just cut somebody off. And that's what this pretty much was. Um, I definitely stand by Netflix in this situation. Um, this is definitely our society nowadays. Cuties is every bit of our society nowadays. It just was shot in another country. Um, 
by people that don't, you know, that look like us but don't sound like us. They don't have the same uh, mechanism when it comes to their family and things like that. Go and watch this movie, cuties. I'm telling you from beginning to the end. Yes, there were parts that was a bit cringy that I couldn't stand. But I knew I had to get to the end to really get a full grasp of it. Y'all, comment down below if you watch cuties and what you think about it. Okay? Y'all, this is Mom Chronicles 2.0. And y'all be sweet.